Being diagnosed with a bleeding disorder can seem like the end of normal in your life. But every day, the Adolescent Hematology Clinic at Nationwide Children's Hospital is helping girls and young women rediscover joy in their lives, set their hopes high, and reach for their dreams. It's an embarrassing problem for some girls to talk about their periods and tell me all about them. But at the same time, these are problems that are really affecting their lives. We primarily see young women who have been referred for heavy menstrual bleeding. And what we found was that we were seeing a lot of these patients individually. They would see first adolescent medicine and then hematology or vice versa. And we thought this would be a great service so that patients and families could see both of us at the same time. I think it's important to remember that even though it's always hard to be told that you have a disease, that um, for the most part, bleeding disorders in women are a mild disease, and with knowledge comes power. Menorrhagia is excessive or prolonged menstrual bleeding that has several causes, including hormonal imbalances, infection, and the use of certain medications. I just got diagnosed last year around August, right before I started back to school. I had heavy headaches, I couldn't concentrate very easily, it caused my grades to drop quite a bit in school. There was just a lot of things going on and I knew something was wrong. I think I was first diagnosed in about third grade. But first we didn't know much about it, we kind of were confused that I had it. A girl may be the only person at her school who has von Willebrand disease or platelet function defects. It was kind of embarrassing at first because I know I'd have to go to the bathroom quite a couple times and it started to become noticeable as teachers said something to me about it. It is important to have a normal life to me because I don't want to be an outcast and stick out. I want to do everything else that other kids do. At first I was a little bit scared just because I was at the hematology clinic. I wasn't really sure what was happening. If you go to Nationwide Children's Hospitals clinic for this, the doctors and the social workers are there to help you. You could pretty much ask anyone and they'll be there for you. They made me feel like it wasn't something that I should be scared of or something that was just going to control me because I have ways that I can control it. We have so many treatment options and, and periods, whether it's cramps or heavy bleeding or anything else, should not be a reason not to live your life every month. As a social worker, I help the teens and help the girls um, transition from from the difficulties they're having back to a normal life. I like to write poetry. I like to build sets for the plays at my school. I also like to listen to music, sing, dance, play it on my saxophone. My goals for the future, I know that I want to be a biomedical engineer. I know that I want to help people, and this is in no way going to stop me. I don't like just sitting at home doing nothing. I'm very outgoing, so I like playing sports and having fun with my friends. It's pretty much normal. I go on with my life as I would if I didn't have it. Just you have to watch out sometimes. When I graduate from high school, I plan on going to college and being a hematologist and learn more about what I have. A lot of these girls like to give back, so you see them get involved. Like we had a, a walk recently for the Hemophilia Foundation and a couple of the girls that have been coming here got their own teams together for the walk. The girls um, are able to make friends with each other at these support groups and they've also um, learned about bleeding disorder camps that they can attend. Um, some of our patients have even gotten college scholarships and, and are able to participate in the National Hemophilia Foundation as a patient advocate. If I could say anything to a girl who just found out that they had a bleeding disorder, I would tell them not to be afraid, don't be scared, and don't stop anything in your life that you love to do. Don't be afraid to go after anything that you want to do or want to accomplish in the future because it's not the end of the world. It's not going to hold you back. And with the proper help, your medication, everything, you will be fine. One in 10 women has heavy menstrual bleeding during her lifetime. The two most common bleeding disorders, von Willebrand disease, a deficiency of a blood clotting protein, platelet function defects, reduced platelet function even with a normal platelet count. Patients with either disorder may have easy bruising, recurrent nosebleeds, increased menstrual bleeding, and bleeding after tooth extraction or other surgery. Signs of a period that is too heavy. Period lasts more than seven days. Soaking through a pad or tampon in one hour. Leaking onto bed linens. Clots greater than one inch in diameter. Low iron stores or anemia. Start finding normal today 